Hello guys, welcome back to Easy Wall Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the self weight of the structure members. These structure members are the slab, the beam, the horizontal member, the beam which is placed monolithically with the slab, and the column, the vertical member which takes the load of the beam and slab, and this is known as the column. So we are going to find out the self weight of the slab, the beam and the column. Now to find out the self weight of any structure members you should just remember the simple formula the self weight can be easily find out can be easily found out by this formula that it should be multiplied with the two quantities that is the density with the volume. Now the density is the material density used in your construction that let's suppose the slab is made of masonry so we should know the density of the masonry or if this slab is made up of reinforced concrete so we should multiply the density of the reinforced concrete so this density is the material density used in the construction of the member let's suppose this is rcc slab in this lecture we are considering that these that this is a frame structure and it is made up of the reinforced cement concrete. So RCC slab, RCC beam and RCC column. Now we know that this is the density of the material and the other quantity is the volume of the member. So volume is the multiplication of the length of the member, the width of the member and the thickness of the member. In this lecture we are just assuming that this dimension let's suppose is 8 meter and this dimension is also 8 meter and let's consider that the column also has a length of let's suppose 10 meter this is just an example now to find out the self weight of slab first we want to find out the self weight of the slab so self weight can be found out by multiplying the density of the material and the volume. Now this is a slab, so I consider the I consider the figure of the slab here. That this is a slab, which is a flat flexure member. This dimension is eight meter. We can see here, and this is also eight meter. And let's suppose the thickness of the slab. The thickness of the slab is 200 mm 200 millimeter or we can say 0.2 meter this just we take an assumption now we know the length the width and the height or the thickness of the slab so by multiplying this all we find out the volume now to find out the self weight of the slab self weight is equal to density gamma multiplied with the volume which is represented by v now gamma for the this slab is RCC slab, so RCC has the density. The density of the RCC is 24 kilogram per cubic meter. Each material has its own gamma. Each material has its own density. So we should remember that our material density. In this case, it is RCC. So RCC gamma is 2400 kilogram per cubic meter. Now this should be gamma is 24 because it is RCC slab and volume V is length into width into thickness. So it will be 8 multiply 8 multiply with the 0.2. So by multiplying these quantities I got 3720. Now this is will be in the unit of kilogram because the density is in the kilogram unit. Now if we divide this by 1000, we got 30.720 ton. Because if we divide kilogram by 1000, we got ton unit. So it means that the self weight of this slab is 30 ton or almost 31 ton. Now we are going to find out the self weight for this beam. So for the beam, I will consider that this is the beam. These are the dimension of the beam and we know that this dimension of the beam 
is 8 meter. This is the length of the spin which is placed monolithically with the slip is 8 meter. So this is also 8 meter. This dimension, the width of the beam, let's suppose is 400 millimeter or we can say 0.4 meter. And this is the height of the beam, let's consider it is 800 millimeter or we can say 0.8 meter. Now we know the all dimension of our member. So what should we do now? We to find out the self weight of the beam. Self weight of the beam. We just multiply the two quantities. The density multiplying with the volume. Now the density it is also, also RCC slay beam. So RCC beam is the density of 2400 kilogram. Multiplying it with the volume. The volume of this beam is 8 meter multiplied with 0.4 meter multiplied with 0.8 meter. So this comes out to be 6144 or we can say 6144 in kilogram. If we divide this by 1000 we got 6.144 ton. So the sulfate of this beam with this dimension is the sulfate of 6 tons. Now let's come to the column to find out the sulfate of this column. This vertical member is a column and we want to find out the sulfate of this column. So for column to find out the sulfate we know that it is equal to gamma multiplied with the volume. Now let's consider that the dimension of the column is It is a square column. So this is in the column let's suppose and the height of the column is 10 meter so this dimension is 10 meter. Now this two dimension this dimension is let's suppose 500 millimeter or we can say 0.5 meter and this dimension is also 500 millimeter or we can say 0.5 meter. It is a square column. So the cross section are the same. That's why we call it the square column. This is the dimension of 10 meter height. The thickness or we can see the width is 0.5 meter and the other dimension is also 0.5 meter. So to find out the self weight for this column it is gamma multiplied with the volume. Gamma is 2400 kilogram per cubic meter because it is a RCC column multiplying with the volume. Volume is 10 meter multiply 0.5 multiply with 0.5. By multiplying this value we got 6000 exactly kilogram. Now to divide this by 1000 we got 6 ton. So the self weight of this column is 6 ton. Hope you guys understand how to find out the self weight of the member just by multiplying the two quantities the density of the material used and the volume of the structure members. Thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering video.